Visitors to Gardens by the Bay will be treated to a visual spectacle of glass installations starting this Saturday. 25 large-scale glass installations and over 80 pedestal sculptures and two multi Two dimensional works have been set up across parts of Gardens by the Bay. They're inside both the Flower Dome and the Cloud Forest, as well as its outdoor gardens. These works are up to 10 meters tall and weigh nearly four tons. They were specially curated and designed by American artist Dale Chihuly, an expert with blown glass. The sculptures resemble a variety of plants and were made in his studio in Seattle before they were shipped right here to Singapore. For more, we're joined by Britt Cornett. She's director of exhibition at the Chihuly Studio. Britt, good evening. What's the inspiration behind these glass works? Good evening. Um, well, I guess in many ways, the inspiration is the garden itself. Um, as you touched on, we have installations throughout the gardens, which is the opportunity to present the work in this beautiful backdrop is um, a, a wonderful opportunity for Chihuly. And uh, I think you're looking at essentially the culmination of 50 years of, of making art and the opportunity to return to Singapore, to share with the, the public um, uh, and draw the public to these beautiful gardens is, is really um, the goal and the inspiration for the project. It's a bit unfair of me to ask then to condense uh, 50 years into such a short interview, but could you tell us some of the highlights? Well, uh, you know, it's the, the garden itself is so spectacular. The architecture is really um, amazing. And I think you'll see that there are people, guests coming will find some large scale installations that uh, take advantage of the beautiful vistas in the cloud forest dome in the Flower Dome, as well as the Serene Garden. You're seeing on the screen here uh, work that was uh, brought here from Seattle to be shown in this beautiful Serene Garden Pond, which as I understand it, uh, although Gardens by the Bay is so iconic to Singapore, uh, not as many people were familiar with the, the Serene Garden. And as we were approached with the idea of being able to present the work in the garden. We came out and visited last March, walked through the Serene Garden, and we're just taken with the incredible beauty of this unique garden. Britt, Dale Chihuly had some experience many years ago with Venetian glass blowing, and, you know, his work is award-winning. It's, mm -hmm. it's been in so many museums all over the world. Tell us a little bit about his unique sort of technique in making these glass sculptures. Sure. Well, I think he's he's uh, well known for working large scale and creating these large architectural installations, and that really again comes from from his life experience and, as you touched on, uh, really understanding the the team as aspect of glass blowing, and that came from experience in. Venice, as a young emerging artist, he was awarded a Fulbright scholarship and able to spend time in the famous Fanini factory on the island of Murano. That combined with uh, a lot of circumstances in his life and different events led him to bring that knowledge back to the United States and gather a team of people around him that would help him realize his vision. And that led, you know, maybe initially started with uh, individual objects and then um, doing architectural installations, large scale, has really, uh, from the beginning of his career, worked out of doors and then formally um, began presenting in gardens in 2001. So that, again, as there's a different, um, life experiences and projects that really all uh, culminate here in the exhibition at Gardens by the Bay. Yeah, it truly is uh, breathtaking to see how this sort of all comes together. Uh, one question for you, though, before we let you go, is that this exhibit, I mean, the fragile shipping uh, must be so careful how to get them sort of in place and get them here safely and get them all set up. But how painstaking is it to make sure that it all comes off well? Well, you'd be surprised, actually. We have it down to a science. We've been doing this for a while. Uh, but we actually ship 12 containers, ocean containers, across from 
uh, across the Pacific Ocean from, from Seattle to Singapore. And we actually ship the, the installations in individual pieces. Then our team comes out and actually builds all of the sculpture here on site. And we actually transfer everything and cardboard boxes, specially designed cardboard boxes that um, protect each of the individual elements. And then uh, when the shipment arrives, our team is here to unpack and painstakingly build each sculpture individually, um, piece by piece. Yeah, it is quite remarkable. Thanks so much for speaking with us this evening. Britt Cornett, Director of Exhibition at the Chihuly Studio.